Gold bugs rejoice. The yellow metal is back above $1,600 an ounce. In fact, it's near $1,625. Gold had a bit of a rough end of 2011 as investors once again re-embraced riskier assets. But now I think there is a realization settling in that, as I wrote in a column recently, the euro and the dollar both have many big fundamental problems facing those currencies, and gold is often viewed as an alternative currency, the safest of safe havens when paper currencies have values that could fall based on the problems of the governments that are backing said paper. However, you do have to wonder too if the fact that gold is rising is another sign of just fear overall in the global economy. And that's not necessarily a great thing unless you are in fact an investor in gold. Other commodities are also ticking higher and that is a bit worrisome. Oil back above $100 a barrel. Obviously, there are several reasons that factor into why oil might be going up. Some of it's geopolitical, concerns about Iran, concerns about Syria. You know, with the euro and dollar weakening, that might also be putting pressure on oil as well. That is not really that encouraging of a sign. Yes, it will help energy stocks, it'll help energy earnings, and you often do see the market rally when oil goes up, but it's not good news for consumers. We do not have the the power right now for many consumers with unemployment still relatively high to withstand the higher gas prices that could result from higher oil prices. Wage growth is still fairly anemic in the United States, so any bit of inflation pressure, even if it's mild, does not bode well. So don't believe all the hype when you see people say in the markets that, oh, oil and gold are going up, this must be a good thing. It's not.